Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic Mercs. Mercs is a run and gun shooter that was developed by Capcom in 1990. Now, I remember Mercs was one of those games at my local pizza shop. I remember it first showing up at the time, and it just blew my mind as all Capcom arcade games naturally did. There was just something about Capcom games that just caught your attention all the time. With Mercs, it was just a beautiful looking game, and when that first boss came in, that was it. Had to play it, and it didn't disappear. Point. The game had a solid gameplay, but strangely, it felt kind of familiar. That's because what people didn't know at the time was that Mercs was the sequel to Commando. Now it was hard to make the connection at the time because both games were aesthetically different from one another and who's to say that Joseph Gibson was the Super Joe in Commando. Also, it was the 1990s. There was no way to confirm it because there was no internet and little to no gaming publications at the time. The revelation only came in later years when we learned the original name of Commando was Senjo no Kami, which translates to Wolf of the the battlefield and Merck's original Japanese name was Senjo no Okami 2 making Joseph Gibson the same Super Joe in Commando, Speed Rumbler and Bionic Commando. Now in this game you can choose one of the three variations of the same person also known as the mercenary unit Merck's to go and rescue a former president from a group of revolutionaries in the African country of Zutula. Zutula? <laughs> Not even a country. At your disposal you have a normal attack and the mega crush attack which is a huge bomb that kills everyone on the screen. You can pick up first aid kits that can replenish your health and pick up an assortment of different weapons. But if you're gonna play the game, just stick with the flamethrower because it's like the best weapon in the game in my opinion. Trust me on this. You have to fight your way through seven stages of rebel-filled mayhem to rescue the president. The game is pretty easy and you'll breeze through it in like 20 minutes or so. Mercs is a pretty fun game to play through, especially if you have two others who can join in with you. Mercs was ported over to the Amiga, the Amstrad, Sega Master System, and the Genesis. It was also available on a few Capcom classic game compilations for the PlayStation and the Xbox. In 2009, it became available for the Wii Virtual Console, and the sequel of the game was created in 2008 by the name of Wolf of the Battlefield Commando 3 in 2008 for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. So it pretty much left a healthy legacy, because it's pretty cool, and I say play the game and let me know what you think.